Today I'd like to introduce you to a new invention for the problems you sometimes have falling asleep. It's called My Sleep Button. Just press the Put Me to Sleep button and shuffle your thoughts to sleep. And as you'd expect from CogSci apps, it's based on cognitive science. In fact, it's the first sleep app that's based on cognitive science. And guess what? We've contributed the key ideas ourselves. People on average need seven and a half hours of sleep per night, but you might only spend seven hours in bed. Now suppose it takes you 30 minutes to fall asleep. Then you wake up in the middle of the night and it takes you another 30 minutes to fall asleep. So you only get six hours of sleep. Sound familiar? Scientists have documented the effects of sleep deprivation. First of which, of course, is fatigue and all that entails. Now, sleep is essential for consolidating information, so your memory is affected by sleep deprivation. Lack of sleep can also make you think in a more rigid way, causing you to persist when you should be switching strategies. You also become more likely to make an error. In sum, it decreases your overall cognitive productivity and has many other adverse psychological effects. So we invented a very simple technique to induce sleep. It's called the cognitive shuffle. Instead of shuffling music, you shuffle images in your head. All you need to do is imagine one random place, person, object, event or scene after another. For example, close your eyes and imagine the following. A baby. Greeting a loved one at the airport. A canoe. Playing golf. Holding a paper cup. Arriving at a beachside hotel. A man and woman jogging together. Are you feeling drowsy yet? Now, unlike other sleep techniques like meditation, white noise, and counting sheep, the cognitive shuffle is based on cognitive science. So consider that. Insomnolent thinking consists of the thoughts and feelings that keep you awake at night. For example, worrying about bill payments, planning an important meeting, or ruminating about a relationship. The cognitive shuffle suppresses insomnolent thinking. In other words, it is counter-insomnolent, and that's what you want. It can also make you drowsy enough to fall asleep, as the vast majority of people who have given us feedback have said. We think the cognitive shuffle is actually somnolent. That means that it can trigger a mental state that is interpreted by your brain as meaning it's time to fall asleep. Random visualization and incoherent thinking is typical of sleep onset. And that's what the cognitive shuffle gives you. The technique is simple, but some people find it tricky to come up with the right sequence of words, particularly if they're tired, but feeling too tense to fall asleep. So we invented my sleep button. Shuffle your thoughts to sleep. Please check it out on the App Store.